Alright, okay, so uh, waited overnight, let this dry, uh, peel off the tape, um, so you can take a look where you see the little white line, that is the filler of the putty at the top and the bottom. Um, in case you do this and you find that uh, either it's uh, not filled up enough or it's filled up too much if you have a little bit of a ridge, uh, what I just recommend doing is get some more tape. Uh, do the same procedure, tape it off, either sand it down if it's too raised or just put a little bit more putty in uh, if it's uh, not enough uh, filled in. All right. Um, so now, um, next step is to um, do the uh, intake here, uh, which is compromised of, put this off to the side, one, two, three, and four parts. The four part being that little thing there. Um, now the best way that I found for doing this is probably the following. Um, if you take a look at the two halves here, now uh, you notice there's a little hole here on top, and also there's a little ridge here. There's a ridge here. That ridge is for for this the bottom of the wheel well here, the wall. Uh, so that falls in there. Um, what I think is probably the best way for me to do this: uh, take these two halves, and glue them together, um, and before actually putting in the glue, be take a piece of tape. Make sure it's lined up perfectly. Again, I'm doing this on camera, so I'm not holding this exactly the way I would. Um, if I would actually, I'm going to glue this now, but just to give you a demonstration. So, for example, I would apply two pieces of tape, top and bottom, so I have a solid holding it there. I would take some the glue and apply it at the seams, bottom, the insides, let that set up for a while, make sure it's uh, holding well, then I will take the bottom part, apply again some glue to the edges here, okay, uh, then I would stick this in here, make sure I am there within the notches, and it should just snap in place. Um, I would hold it, make sure that it is all the way in there, and nice and flush. I'll let that set, and then I would just let this uh, uh, finish gluing. Um, I would pro I'll leave it taped up so it's not, it holds out all the pieces nice and tight. Let it stay. Now, if you notice, there is a little hole here, which comes with the kit, uh, where I would take the divider there. And I would just insert that through here and eyeball it to get to the corresponding pin. Um, here, I didn't show you this before. But if you notice, there's uh, three holes here. Um, two of the holes are for the landing gear, and then the other hole is for the little pin that's there that goes in there. Okay? Uh, and once everything is glued together, uh, and then I would worry about um, painting the inside. Before painting the inside, one thing you're going to notice with this is, like, which is very, very common to the F16, um, is that you're going to have a lip there. You can see that. See that lip? You got that step, that lip there. So that's going to need some sand filling in, and then some sanding to get that all nice and smooth. You have a smooth transition from the edge into the intake there. Um, and at that point, then I would paint the insides of this. Um, before putting it on the model. I would also recommend just doing a little dry fitting before you glue everything together. Make sure everything looks like it lines up and fits there nicely. Like so. And move on. Uh, so that's what I recommend for the uh, intake here. Um, so this is of the piece of the model. It's probably a little bit more of a, a bit of a pain because you got these two halves. There's no notches to get these together other than the uh, edges of the inside wheel well here. So you gotta try and get all three parts, or four parts, all lined up together and glued together. Uh, so that's gonna be my next step for doing this, and I will be back after I have glued and assembled uh, this piece together. All right, thank you. 
Okay, hi. Um, so while this is drying, uh, this part portion of it before I add in this portion of it, I'm just going to uh, work on the tail. So last time I glued the bottom part, the base of the tail, and I'm going to glue in the uh, the actual uh, vertical stabilizer tail here. Um, so what I did, I'm using some tape, some just regular blue tape. Um, I put a tape on both sides, I'm using it as a stabilizer so that the part will stay true, uh, nice and vertical on uh, where it's supposed to be. So that's going to give us support while this glues. Um, so that's just a, a little tip. Um, so I'll put the tape, just put a little tape glue along the edges, get it set up. So basically the glue that I'm adding right now is just going to be a little bit of a spot glue uh, so that these two pieces will be uh, glued together vertically. Um, and then once that's dry, I'm going to remove the tape then add some more glue along the seam so it's nice and sturdy. I am not going to apply this to, attach it to the uh, to the plane right now. Um, so I'm going to paint this a totally uh, different color from the rest of the plane. Uh, so I'm going to uh, prime and paint this separately and do the decals on it separately and then at that point I'll attach it to the uh, to the plane. Uh, I'll just make the whole process e easier. Um, I did dry fit this before uh, here to make sure that I would have no problems attaching this later on after the, all this is primed and painted separately. Um, so it's a pretty good fit here in the tail. So I'm pretty confident that uh, at that point I'm not really going to need much of anything, any type of filler. Uh, I, once I put the paint and stuff, I'm not going to need any filler here for the tail. So I can just easily uh, glue that in there. Um, so what I'm going to do before, when I go to prime design, I'll show you. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, mask off, put some tape here in this area where the two pieces of plastic are going to adhere so that there's no primer or paint or anything else on the surface. So when I go to glue them, it'll be uh, uh, plastic to plastic and you'll get the uh, a good seam there all right all right so I'll be back after these pieces are dry and this is attached and I'll show you the final piece uh, intake all right thank you okay I'm back all right so I finished gluing the pieces here um, so we have the two halves we have the wheel well itself and we have the uh, divider in there um, so right now what I need to do is clean up work. Um, as you see there is a little glue seam here uh, where the glue oozed out. As I press two pieces so I have to sand this down. Now before I do any sanding on the outside since there are panel lines here I'm just going to mask off, tape off to either side so I'm just uh, sanding in that specific area and not, and not affect all the panel lines. Uh, for the other parts here, this part here, I um, mean you're not going to see this once this is on the plane so it doesn't matter too much how that looks. Uh, as long as this flat is what matters, this is going to line up there and it's going to glue flat to that edge that you see there. Okay, um, so I'm going to do a little putty work uh, to fill in this little seam right here, um, as well as the seam down here. Uh, if you take a look, there is quite a definite step in there, um, depending on what you like, don't like. Uh, you probably want to fix that it's even once it's on the plane. It will be hard to see but if you did take a look down the front of the plane you are going to see that step there very clearly. Um, so what I'm going to do next is putty up. Uh, now for this instead of the Vallejo putty I'm actually I'm going to use some of this tester uh, putty. Uh, reason the difference is this is a little bit more liquidy. This is a little bit slightly drier and for me I just find this a little bit easier when I have to do um, putty work like this here. Well, I'm trying to fill in this seam here and then I'm going to come back and sand down this nice and smooth uh, before we paint prime. Um, so I will be back uh, with this after I finish doing the putty work. Hi, okay, uh, here we are back. I have finished gluing uh, and filling in the gap in there. Um, let me take a look in there, what you see white, that's the putty, uh, sand it down some, uh, so now I shall set this aside uh, 
for priming. Uh, so I'm going to this particular piece. I'm going to make sure I'm going to prime it with white. So the inside is going to be white anyway. So everything's going to be primed and painted at the same time. I'll take a look at it. If there's any work else work that I think that needs to be done, I'll go ahead and do it and prime it again. And so I'm going to add this to my uh, pile of stuff to do. Uh, here in the main plane, I have gone ahead and attached the uh, wing rails uh, for the uh, AIM nines. Uh, there is a little bit of a gap here, which I'm just going to go ahead. Same thing before, I'm just going to take a piece of tape, tape off the detail, and then putty the little seam there, and uh, that'll be good. Alright, now I'll set that aside. I have the other pieces, I have cut them off of the sprue. I kept them on the sprue, but just cut down the sprues to easier to handle. Now these other pieces are pieces which I'm going to be priming and painting separately. I'm going to do them on the sprue themselves. And then once I cut them off the sprue, I'll go ahead and uh, do any little touch-ups along the edges where the uh, sprue gates meet. Um, a couple little details which I did not mention while I did the out-of-box. Um, there are some ejector pin marks here, like in the uh, gear doors. There's one there and there. Um, but honestly, you're not really going to see these too much. I mean, this one is pretty easy to sand. It's right here on the edge, and it doesn't overlap any of the rivets, so you can easily take care of that. But it will be hard to tell anyway in the final. Um, here on the main gear doors, um, there are two prominent, uh, one here and one here on both doors, same spot. Uh, the ones here in the rear, you're not going to see them. When the gear door, when the gear legs are in place, uh, it's going to cover up this edge here, so you're not going to see them whatsoever. Uh, these two though, you will see. So those might be two that you might either sand down or fill in. Unfortunately, they're really close to right over the edge of these rivets here for the panel. Um, so you might lose a little bit of detail, but uh, that's what you're going to need to do if you want to get rid of those. There you go. Let's see see how prominent they are? That's something you want to take care of. Uh, let's see the other pieces, uh, the other pylons for the wings. Again, I'm going to prime these um, while they're on the sprue. Um, what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to uh, either use tape or use some uh, masking agent uh, to paint over or cover up where the uh, seam is going to be for for the plastic the plastic joint. So I'm going to cover that up so I don't have any glue or paint or s on that. Uh, and then when I'm done after painting and so forth, I'll peel them off so I can glue them to the airplane uh, wings and same thing with the other pieces uh, you have your landing gear stuff then we're going to go ahead and, and focus focus there you go um, do this while it's on the sprue uh, any any areas where it's going to meet up to other pieces of plastic later on I'm just going to cover up then peel it away uh, one other thing as far as ejector pin marks here in the wheel which is really not good um, you have these two, one, two, one, two at each wheel. Same thing for the uh, nose gear wheel, one, two. Those, these are just not as noticeable. Um, here in the nose wheel, um, one of them will be covered once you put them here. It's going to be covered by the strut, so you won't see it at all, but you may want to take care of one of them. Here in the main gear, you probably do want to fill them in because these are kind of pretty deep. If you can see, it's pretty good thing hold snag the uh, the blade there so those things you're gonna have to may want to cover up I mean once they're painted black and it's on the inside they're gonna be as noticeable but uh, they will be there and you might want to uh, take care of that uh, before you prime and paint all right uh, then you I have my aim nines I'm gonna be primed and painted and then I have the rest of the pieces again I'm gonna prime and paint these while they're on the sprue and then once I cut them off I'll do any touch-ups where the sprue gates meet um, so that's it for this part of the video. Um, so when you see me, when I come back for the next part next week, I uh, will have all this stuff uh, primed and do any uh, pre shading on the pieces and on the main plane as well. And then we'll be ready for the uh, rest of the assembly and painting. All right, thank you very much. Thank you for your time for watching this. I hope you found this useful. Right, take care. Bye bye.